Right, the purpose of this tutorial is to show you how to add the a cursor theme to your cursors so that you can have a cursor with this highlighted halo around it. It's very useful if you are creating tutorial videos because the user can focus on what you're doing more easily. Now, I'm using Vocal Screen uh, recording software on the Raspberry Pi 400 computer. Um, and what we'll do right now is go to the website that contains the themes. And the website is called gnomelook.org. So you want to type that into your address bar. Here is the page here. Uh, BDMZ Cursors. This is the one I'm using right now. I've previously to this video installed it so that you can see it in action. So you can see how powerful it is. Down here is a product description. Now this is free, this product. So it's telling you that it's a theme um, and then down here further it shows you how to install it. Click onto the files tab up here and then just click to download it. It downloads into your downloads folder. Now I've already done that as you can understand because I'm using it but I'll show you what happens. So in downloads you should get this zipped file and when you right click on it and extract to here you'll get this folder here, BDMZT. And inside that folder, there is a folder for each of the themes. Now in the description on the website here, it clearly states that there is a different folder name for each color of theme. So the A is Aqua, and this one I'm using just now is the F for Fuchsia, FBDMZ. What you need to do is use your terminal to move these folders from here into the correct folder that the operating system can access. And that happens to be user share icons. Right, now that we've got these extracted and we've had a look at them, we, it's time to move them into the folder that we need them to be in so that the operating system can actually select this theme type for the cursor. And the folder that we're trying to move to is the user share icons folder. So we need the terminal for this. We need to put an instruction in here, which here's the instruction just above. So it's MV downloads folder, the actual folder that we want to move. And we're going to user share icons. We're acting as the sudo here, MV downloads forward slash BDMZT. BDMZT and then the folder we want is this yellow one YBDMZ so YBDMZ and we want to move it to user share icons and then now when I hit enter in this it's going to tell me that I can't do it because the directory is not empty and that's you're expecting that because I'm actually using the theme just now but you should have managed that successfully now to check that they've arrived um, come up here to the root and open the root up and go down to USR then down to share and then down to icons now we need to scroll down to icons, they're in alphabetical order. There we go. And if I click on it, there is the FBDMZ. So the theme exists there. Good. So what we need to do now from the terminal is actually launch the GUI application, which will allow us to alter the themes on our operating system. LX Appearance and that will open up your Customize Look and Feel application. Now we want the mouse cursor and you can see there is the um, fuchsia, here's the green, here's the red, here's the yellow, uh, here is the aqua, here's the blue and here's the dark. So I'm going to change it to yellow. So I'm going to pick that one and then I'm going to apply. It should change to yellow. Yes, it has. And you might find that it doesn't change on windows that were opened previously. 
and it usually have to do a reboot of the system before it will take effect. When you are finished and you don't want it to be highlighted anymore, you just come into the terminal, LX Appearance, and then click your other one you want and put it back to the way it was before. Okay, now remember, same again, you have to reboot. See how this, so if we click close on that, and then I would put in here sudo reboot. But I'm not going to do that right now because I'm still videoing, so I'm going to end the video and then do that.